Hey guys, I'm Darren Smart, this is Smart Reselling, and here is the first update on the £20 charity flip. Uh, you may have seen the video to do with Ads Robinson, uh, who gave me £20. Uh, it was a giveaway, he was just giving away some of his money, and I was one of the lucky people to get some of that money. And I decided I wanted to try and take that £20 and do something with it. Rather than just put it into my bank account or spend it on stock or whatever or a takeaway, I just wanted to see if I could take that £20 and turn it into more. And I'm going to do that over the course of roughly 30 days. I'm a little bit behind schedule at the moment, but roughly 30 days. I'm just going to try and keep flipping it and flipping it and flipping it. And then whatever's left at the end will be given to charity. Um, at the moment, I'm not quite sure what charity. I think me and Phoebe have one in mind that we want to put it to, um, as we've kind of discussed it, and we we'll decide to give it to a certain charity now. Um, so yeah, so basically, some good stuff, some not so good stuff, and I'll show you this basically now. And I've got all these out of two charity shops. Uh, first of all, I'll show you the two kind of duds. Um, first of all, we have this here, which is a Tetley tea mug. Um, I know it was a, well, a character mug. It's a 3D mug, which I always try and look out for. But unfortunately, I mean, I paid £3.99 for this. It may not focus, but you should be able to see it. £3.99, which unfortunately is kind of the money it goes for on eBay anyway. So that was a shame. Um, I thought it would be a really good one. But um, what I may do is bundle it with the other dud that I picked up. And I thought this was going to be fantastic when I saw it. But uh, it's the PG Tips Monkey, but in a 3D cup form. And I've never seen this before. I've never even thought about looking for it. I know all the monkeys do quite well, the plushes. Um, but unfortunately, there's not really much in this. So... I paid £2.99 for it, which, once again, is kind of the money. So I may break even or even lose on these once they go on eBay. I may bundle it, like I said, so have it like a you know 3D tea bundle or whatever. Or I could try and, on my travels throughout the month, if I find a PG Tips uh, monkey, maybe just sit them in and bundle it with the monkey. May get seven or eight quid from then I don't know but uh, yeah so they were a bit dud unfortunately so that was uh, what, four five six seven pounds of the 20 spent on practically stuff that isn't gonna make me any money however that's gonna change here we have this now which is it really doesn't suit me look at this it's too big for my head I look a bit kind of I don't know maybe that way with the label sticking out um, but yeah, it's not me. But it is Marks and Spencers. Um, and I've checked it up on eBay. One has sold used, same colour, same everything, same label inside, for £12.99. And I paid £1.50, which was pretty decent. Um, normally I don't react on stuff like this. I did put it on in the store and Phoebe took a photo of me wearing it, uh, which I did not like, to be honest. It says large head size, and that's too big, so maybe maybe that's a good thing. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. I can turn that into maybe a tenner, hopefully pretty quickly. Uh, obviously, all these are before eBay fees, PayPal fees, shipping fees, if I choose to do free shipping, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty good. So, so far, that might be £10, which would kind of make up for those two ducks. Then what we've got, I really don't know... Uh, if this guy is worth anything, but I paid 20 pence for him. And he's from Monsters University. <laughs> and uh, he is a bit dusty. He's got like hair sticking out and stuff. I need to clean him up. But I thought for, um, for 20 pence, even if he goes for a fiver or something, is you know, that's pretty good return on 20 pence still. So yeah, so that's not bad. So that's cool. Um, next up, we have this, which um, it has sold before for around the £10 mark. 
but it is pretty heavy. And this is giant polka. Um, and basically, you, you know, inside you get these giant playing cards, and you get giant uh, poker chips. Like that. So that's yeah, it's okay. It's pretty decent. I think if I market it right, if I use the right keywords, maybe like you know, sort of boys' night in kind of stuff, uh, it will go. It will go. But. Unfortunately, like I said, it goes for about a tenner. It is pretty heavy. I'm not quite sure exactly how much it weighs, but it's not going to go under a kilogram, put it that way. So, unfortunately, Hermes is going to be quite expensive on the postage. The one that sold for a tenner on eBay went on free postage. So, but hey, you know what? I might get away with it. Who knows? A pound, if I can turn it into ten, that'll be okay. Um. I'll, actually, I'll show you. I'll show you this now. This was a really nice find. Um, I paid. I paid up. I guess you could say for this, ten pounds ninety nine pence. Um, not really sure that focused, but there we go. Ten ninety nine. Um, it's a an OM lens, which is for Olympus Olympus OM lens. It's a fifty millimeter, um, and I did a quick check while I was in the store, and. I can get $39.99 to $49.99 depending on condition and I've had a quick look and it's it's really nice inside. Um, so I'll get 40 quid for that, no problems. 50 maybe not. I could try 50, but this is about quick flip because at the end of the day, <coughs> excuse me, because at the end of the day, I need it by the end of the month. And you know, this this is a one month thing. Whatever's there at the end of the month will go for charity. So I might just list this at say 35 or even 30 just to, just to get it out the door and get some money for the charity in. Uh, but that's pretty cool. In its box like that, 40 quid, no problem. So so we're up on this so far. We're making some money here. Okay, well, if it sells. Then we've got these, which I wasn't going to get this at first. I saw this and it's an Ipswich Town shirt cushion. Um, I'm not an Ipswich Town fan myself, I'm a Liverpool fan, uh, despite being born and bred in Hackney in London, uh, it just kind of worked out that way for me. But um, but yeah, so this is Ipswich Town, no name on the back or anything like that, which is kind of cool because then it's not, not limiting your market. And I, was, I, I just left it, I walked past it, I, I did pick it up and I thought, oh, that's pretty, it's pretty cool, it's pretty fun. But I, I put it down because it had two pounds on it. And I thought, yeah. But then what I saw right next to it was this, which is so you've got the home and the away shirt for Ipswich Town. This was also two pounds. So you've got a kit cushion and you've got, um, I don't know if they also call this kit cushion. No, I think that's just shirt cushion. And I thought, well, actually, now that that one's there as well, that's a nice bundle. And in the end, I took them up to the counter and the lady uh, said, oh, that's actually only one pound. They're one pound each, not two pound each. So I paid two pounds for these. So that's pretty cool. Um, don't know much about them. They're not gonna. There's none on eBay sold or listed. So we'll see. Uh, they do sell them on their official site. So if I can maybe just undercut them, then that'd be fine. So yeah, that's those. Then we have these, which uh, is a really nice condition pair of Wrangler jeans. Okay, there we go. Um, I know nothing about clothing. Even the thought of picking up clothing and, and selling it is a nightmare to me. However, Phoebe is the clothing guru in this household. And I, I asked her to check these out, make sure they were really Wrangler and not some other knockoff or something. Um, but they all checked out. She really knows her stuff when it comes to this, this type of item. Really good condition. And I paid let me see if I can show you. One pound. So I thought for a quid, I've got to take them. Um, I've looked on eBay for the same size, same condition, same everything, and they go for 20 quid. So that's pretty decent. Um, I then have I've got one more item after this. This, um, I really don't know how much I'm going to get for this. Maybe a fiver, maybe a tenner, doubt anymore. 
It's a Kangol uh, hoodie. And you've got kind of, you know, you've got these tie ups on the front. It's official Kangol. There are some other Kangol labels. There we go. Kangol label there. Um, it is extra large, original, Kangol original. And once again, I paid one pound. So I thought I can't really go wrong for a quid, even if I, even if I only make a pound or two on it, I can't really go wrong. And then I got this. Phoebe kind of said to me, look, you might want to avoid this as we're coming out of that season. I don't really understand clothing season, so I thought I'm getting it anyway because it's one pound. And it is a, a Temster outdoor jacket. And I thought, for a pound, even if no one buys it, I'd have that, to be fair. Um, it's... There we go, I'll just show you the label. So, one pound again. This was all on a one pound rail, uh, which I was amazed with. But it kind of, yeah, it has all this... Let me see if I can show you. That's Temster. I've done a search for, it's going to all fall, there we go. I've done a search for Temster. Um, they seem to only really make outdoor survival type of jackets. So if I could get a tenner, 15 quid for that, maybe I'm being a bit optimistic. But if I can get anything for that, we might already be looking at bringing in sort of 30, 40, 45 quid for the charity already. I've probably at least doubled it. We think with the lens at 40 quid, with the Wrangler jeans at 20, that's 60. And I know they go for 60. With this, I know sells for between 10 and 12. So that's 70 odd sales. So we're doing well. For the first pickup, we're doing well, even with duds. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. That was a very quick update. I know a few people have been asking about the update on Facebook uh, and also in uh reset of chats. So I hope this suffices for the first update. Some of it I think I will auction, maybe the mugs um, and maybe things that I think, the, maybe the clothing I will auction off. I don't, well, not the Wrangler jeans, but maybe the other bits I'll just sell off maybe a fiver with cheap postage and see if someone takes that. Get it out in, in a week and then hopefully next week I'm going to reinvest the earnings or whatever I get back into new stuff um, and we'll just keep going and going until the end of the month and we'll see where we are. So anyway, thanks for watching. I've got a couple more videos coming out today. I have a sales update which people have been asking me for. I also have an office, uh, so I'm getting messages here. i am also got an office tour and possibly a house tour that certainly people have been asking about in the reseller chats. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have had a great weekend. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of Hermes going out, which you might see in the tour, unless Hermes turns up before I film it. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Cheers.